What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I'm going to give y'all several couple, several videos, and I know I've been missing. Um, y'all, if y'all don't know, I was reacting to YouTubers first, and girl, they got some drama going on, so, you know, I had to get into that tea. But we are here. Um, we are about to get into L, number one, speak on Krishana Blueface, which I think he's tripping. But we also about to get into Blueface's Faja. Yeah. And then I got a story time, a TikTok story time for y'all at the end of this. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. I will. I just reacted to the aunties on Sunday, but I reacted to the aunties. It was good. I loved every bit of it. Um, I didn't post any shorts. Pray for me. Um, but make sure y'all tap into the Patreon, man. Link is in the pinned comment. And let's get into what L has to say. And then it's it's all about entertainment, you know what I'm saying? They in the entertainment business, so they not dumb. They know. Hold on, cause I don't know why that started there. And then it's it's all about. It started there, cause that's what entertainment. Happened. You know what I'm saying? They in the entertainment business, so they not dumb. They know y'all want to be entertained, so guess what they gonna do? <laughs> Entertain y'all. That's their job. Then y'all paying for them to do that, so they gonna get y'all what y'all want. Now when the camera's off, you know what I'm saying? It might be a different story, but they gonna entertain y'all, get y'all what y'all want. And she loyal you. She fuck with you. She fuck with you. And she won't go in. Good, bad, right or wrong. You know, they're going to end up getting married. They love each other. For real. Definitely, definitely don't think they're going to end up getting married. But I might be absolutely wrong. I ain't there. I do think he got a different type of something for her. Y'all don't think it's love. That's fine. It's something. It's something. But yeah. Seem crazy and everything right now. But they love each other. So. Yeah, everybody got to find love, you know, and you got to stick through it, whatever happened, happened. And everybody don't agree with it, but that's their story and everybody got their own story, you know. They just putting it out there to, for everybody to see it. Okay, so... so if I give him $3 billion, he's going to marry me. If I give him $3 million or $3 billion, why would you pay him to marry you? I miss that. And if I didn't miss it and they just coming, you know, just refreshing my brain. Now, come on, Krishan. <laughs> Why the hell would you marry Blueface? <laughs> Why would she pay to marry Blueface? This is old. I did not know. I missed that. And then, like I said, if I didn't, I'm being refreshed. I don't recall. That's crazy. It's crazy. But why do you think the money has to be involved <laughs> for you to get married? Because nobody got his back. Money really... What? What? You parking your shit, yeah, I like, what are you I like where you about? going with this. Keep going, Kara. Like, don't stop. Don't win. stop. And then. That's crazy. That's crazy. But all right, uh, let's get into Blueface's Faja. On top of the PM sitting over here hoping and praying that they release my son in the next 20 days with time served. So for all you Blueface fans, please keep him in your prayer. I also praying that Krishan gets released the same day that he does so that everybody can have a new start. You ain't even mean that shit. <laughs> Him saying that about Krishan, he really didn't mean it. I don't know about with Blueface, but he really didn't mean that about Krishan. To be honest, Blueface might come home and be like, yeah, Pop, appreciate you. Get out. You know what I'm saying? Um, his dad really just put a bad, nasty taste in my mouth when he did Krishan like that. Like, Krishan Jr., that is. I don't change no diapers. I ain't doing this for no baby. Da, da, da. What? That was crazy. But anyway, let's read some of these comments, girl. Carlissa saying he ain't the daddy. I tricked him. And that's Cap. He looked just like him. Uh, Blueface fans, why is this the father? I don't care what y'all say. That ain't my baby daddy, damn it. Uh, and then he said, pray to who? Please don't remind. Please don't remind that these people still exist. Uh, free his dad from that mohawk man respectfully uh sir no uh the we only praying for the baby button <laughs> okay let me let me press that button um we the public have enjoyed them being on vacation we like our peace and want to keep it that way check back in three months sir now nah, he'll be out by the end of the month they are where they belong let's pray for the baby Y'all need to pray for that baby. Uh, ironically, if you're a fan of either of these people, then you, then you to need, oh, to be prayed for, girl. I'm done. You don't need to be prayed for because you're a fan of them. 
They some cool people. I don't care what nobody say. Blueface and Krishan are some characters. Um, hopefully she was trolling. Ah, why would I say that? She wasn't. She was dead that serious. What do you want me to do? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because I'm absolutely done with this part of the video. Enjoy this TikTok because it's crazy. Bye. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into a story time. I don't know what it's about, honestly. Well, let's just get into it. Of 2012. Wait a minute. I'm on how my mama caught me doing the do, and she called the police. Oh. So let's get into it. So this was summer of 2012. Y'all know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, my freshman year was lit. Like, I was outside. Like, I don't know. I If I could go, if I could pick my favorite year, it was 2012. I I had a time 2012. Mm -hmm. But anyway, boom. So we from, like I said, we from the projects, grew up in the projects, stayed in the projects. So I used to get off the bus and walk to the rec center okay. to use their Wi-Fi because at the time they were sending us home with the little Chromebooks, whatever, you know. By the way, this is just a background so y'all can, like, get the scenery. I used to use the red Wi-Fi to play, like, Papa Freezeria, Pizzeria, Fun Brain Games, Cool Math Games. When I would uh. go to the red, it was always this dread here, boy. And he would, I would also see him, like, in walking around in the apartments. I'm like, dang, he's so fine. Like, fine. So one day I'm in a wreck and I'm in the part where they, like the cafeteria part, like the kitchen part. And I'm playing my game. And right. he comes in there and he Swiss up my Chromebook. Like, it caught me so off guard. I'm looking at him. Swiss up the Chromebook? What that mean? I'm like, give me back my Chromebook. Give me two, my two, two in the chair. My Chromebook. So in the midst of us tugging for the Chromebook, of course, we go to like, you know how boys like, you know, you know, I know in ninth grade, should nobody been thinking about it, but eventually hormones start bouncing off the wall. Your thoughts get to wondering. So, it, I mean, it's normal. But he was like, so after he finally gave me my Chromebook and I started like zipping, like packing the back up, zipping it up in the case. And he was like, you finna walk home? I said, y'all finna walk home? He said, okay, let me finish the last game. I can walk with you. I said, okay. Uh, I go sit on the bleachers and watch him play basketball. <laughs> 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 part I thought I was going love, y'all. When he get done with the game, we start walking. And the way that you, you used to walk from the red center is like, you could take like this alleyway. So we was walking through like the alley. Uh -huh. And while we was walking through the alley, he was like, you coming outside this weekend? I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'm going to be outside this weekend. He was like, okay, bet. And we go our separate ways. Okay. Part two. Oh, hold, hold the line. We got part two. I just said part two. I put part two at. Ah, right. Yeah. Let's get it. I got caught doing the do, and my mama caught me, and she called the police. So let's get into it. So we left off the part to where uh, he had walked me home. He red center, and he asked me was I coming outside for the weekend. I said yeah, and we went our separate ways. Now I didn't have a phone, so it was the type of thing to where if he seen me walking around in the the apartments, you better call my name or something because other than that, we not gonna link because he didn't know where I stayed and I didn't know where he stayed. Uh -huh. So it was that type of thing. So when Saturday came and I know it was getting dark, I said dang, like it ain't. That ain't gonna be the move. Just so happened, I look out my window, right, and I seen the dreadhead boy I was crushing on in his homeboy. And hello, I had a sister. So yeah, two <laughs> men, we finna go on this mission. So we started getting dressed. When I tell y'all, I put on the tightest coochie cutters I could find, just, <laughs> just being high. So we go outside and we trying to walk like in a way to where they can see us, but we don't want them to know that we see them type thing. Right. So they were like, hey, hey, hey. So Shout out. Like, huh? Huh? They like, come here, come here. So we go over there. And as we talking, like everybody talking and stuff, we start walking towards the back of the project. Now, back then, back there, they was building something back there. So it was like just like a big stage. All right. And it was no lights back there. The only light that we had back there was from people porches. Oh, right. my sister, she go off and do her thing. I don't, I don't think my sister did anything. I don't think. But me, he put me on this people air vent. Okay. And they, they lights was on y'all like. And at the time, I was I still had my V card, uh -huh. and he put on the the paper, the wrapper, and kept trying to get it in, get it in, get it in. And when he finally did, uh -huh. y'all, I just hear a car. I'm talking about flying, flying around the curb. It's the police. I hop up trying to hurry but pull up my pants. He runs off. Wait, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Y'all know I gotta watch stuff over. I missed the air vent. What happened with the air vent? I missed it didn't run off the back of the projects now back then back there they was building something back there so it was like just like a big stage and it was no lights back there the only light that we had back there was from people porches so my sister she go off and do her thing i don't i don't think my sister did anything he I, put her on top of the air vent got it i don't think 
But me, he put me on this people air vent. Okay, and they they lights was on, y'all, like crazy. And if I still had my V card, and he put on the the paper, the wrapper, and kept trying to get it in, get it in, get it in. And when he finally did, y'all, I just hear a car. I'm talking about flying, flying around the curve. It's the police. <laughs> I hop up trying to hurt but pull up my pants. He runs off. Both of them run off. And that's what niggas gonna do. Even me and my sister like. Then what makes me think it was my probably my mom. I don't know if it was the people who ever been I was on that caught the police or my mama because I wait or someone who saw me and my sister got in contact with my mom and told her me and my sister was being hot. My mom was very well known. Other than that, I don't know how she found us or who really caught All the police. All of a sudden, my mama walked out of nowhere and my cousin he was staying with us at the time. And my mom, when I tell y'all, she was so mad. She like. Back I know you ain't up here. I know you ain't up. I'm talking about y'all. Voice literally sent chills in me because I was like, dang, why you hollering so loud? I'm talking about like shaking. And nobody went to jail or anything. Like, we, this was ninth grade. So I was like, what, 14, 15? And they were the same, about the same age. So the police officer, he really didn't do much. He was just talking to me and my sister about like self respect and. All this. Look, back then, I didn't know what no self-respect self <laughs> Okay. Like, I just want some meat. Like, sir, like. But when we got back to the house, we wasn't able to go outside for like two weekends. Um, When I got off the bus, I could not go to the rig. I had to go straight on home. As far as the boy, we did eventually link again. And I was just telling him, like, what what was the aftermath? And, you know, he was just like, my bad and stuff. And we still completed the mission. But, yeah, ah. Like I said, summer 2012, if I can go back to then, like, I was carefree, y'all. Like, the fact that she still completed the mission is crazy. When I say carefree, I mean, like, having a time. How did we get to a third part, though? Hey, y'all already know I was it. Oh, completed the know. mission, right. The red. Y'all already know what I had on. Coochie cutters. Yeah. I used to cut them pants, y'all. <laughs> I used to cut the pants. My mom used to be like, me and my sister like cut our clothes up. I'm be like, uh-uh-uh, ain't buy no more clothes. I ain't buy no more clothes. Y'all like to cut them up and put them up your ass. I ain't buy no more clothes. Y'all wear the same clothes that I put up to the next school year. I'm like, girl, we chill. We know you're going to take us back to see the dreams. <laughs> oh, boom. Oh, and y'all, when I post those pictures of me in 2012 and I had those phones, all of those phones were my mama old phones. And when she would like get a new phone, she'll pass it down to us to play with because I I do have two baby sisters. Right. And we used to like play with them, like play house and stuff like that. But boom, get into the story. Right. Uh, this Saturday, I just wanted to go to the red and download some movies on one of the phones. Right. And I just also wanted to chill and just listen to some music. Right. I wasn't expecting to see him at all. Okay. And really didn't care for real to see him. But it just okay. so happened when I walked in the um when I walked in the gym, I seen him playing a game of basketball. So I just sat on a bleach. I was like, if he see me, he see me like. So he ended up coming over there. And it's, let me just say. 444 in the chat. It's her being able to get back to the nigga. He had his dreads up in the phone cell. It's something about when y'all, when y'all dudes do that and y'all just have like a plain white tee, black tee. I'm talking about outfit simple, but it's put together. Right. With like gold chain or something like That's what I was telling y'all last night. That gas station t-shirt. If it's a hood nigga with a gas station t-shirt. Look totally different than a nigga just, I can't even explain it. Like a City Trends t-shirt is not a gas station t-shirt. First of all, when that gas station t-shirt come out the pack, fresh as hell. You might be a little folded. But it's fresh as hell, though. You know what I'm saying? And I always got on some crispy shoes. You know what I'm saying? The pants, hat, maybe even a wife beater. But it's going to be folded. <laughs> okay, but... um. So we were really just catching up because y'all remember I couldn't go outside. Me and my sister couldn't go outside for like two weekends. And when we used to get off the bus, it was no rec, no computer lab, no kids cafe. We had to come straight home. So when we did see each other, we just catching up. And I was just like, let him know what was going on. He was just like, my bad, my bad. I was like, you good. He was like, how long you finna be up here? I said for a minute. He said, all right. So he was just playing the game, doing his thing. I was doing my thing. So we both ended up leaving out the rec together. When we left, I out, thought it wasn't a wreck that day. It was dark. We started walking towards the wreck park. So this is the wreck. The park is just a little bit like right here. No lights back there. No lights. So yes, we did do it under the monkey bars. <laughs> yeah. 
not under the monkey bars. The monkey yeah. bars, we, this, <laughs> it was on the part. And that was that. That was that on it. Like, quick, easy, one, two, that was done. But um, to these comments, yes, I went from high school from 2012 to 2015. And honestly, those, I experienced high school like I was supposed to experience high school. Oh, you had a time. I mean, like, no, I shouldn't have not been out at a young age. But I'm not the only one. Won't be the first, won't be the last, baby. That's a fact. And I don't regret nothing because life is about experiences. Like, and that's a fact. But, yeah. Um, and let me show y'all my mom because some of y'all was asking to see my mom. So, when my mama died, y'all know my mama died. My sister got this pillow made of her. And look. I always loved when she used to get her hair like that. Like, she was just so... Mama cute. looked like she pulled up on her ass. Hey, are you doing out here? And then, um... This picture right here, I keep on the side um, by my desk. But um, when I tell y'all, my mama was witch. Mama pulled Always up. Witch. And like I said, high, those years in high school were the best. Like, no COVID. I experienced high school like I was supposed to experience high school. So, you know. And then, like, just being in a in the apartments, summertime, lit. Like, <laughs> me and my friends really didn't have no phone. We used to walk to each other's houses. And get each other to come outside. We used to okay. walk, to walk to the candle lady. We used to sit on the That bench. was the best. Your friend outside. First of all, you hit a door. Boo, boo, boo. First of all, I was so bad. I ain't know who was at the door. So I'm like, Pum. I hope I ain't in trouble. Your friend at the door. Oh, period. Whoa. I had Can she come in or can I go outside? I go outside. Period. That was a time. Love those times. It's with our tutti frutis, our freeze cup, our pickle sausage, our hot sausage, and let me tell you, I, I can't wait to see. Um, finish. Did I say guzzle? It just be chilling, having a vibe. Like I get it, nostalgia. I don't know about y'all, but like I, I enjoy my time. So in high school, I had a time too, except the fact I would have at least took my grades a little more serious. It's the only thing that I. Uh, and only because I could have went to college, but I still, I was so nervous to go to college because I was just so sexual. I wasn't a hoe, but I just wanted to experience things just like her. Well, I might have been a hoe. Who knows? But anyway, so we used to go to the store every day. Every day. It was a store around the corner in our neighborhood. Boom, 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 the store. We used to walk up there. All you needed was fire off. Fada! Hot sauce. Uh, um, pickle egg. Choice soda. We had choice sodas. I don't know what soda y'all had, but we had choice soda. Sunflower seed. Some type of candy. Knowing me, it was like a Heath bar or some shit. Definitely had to get my um, um, uh, uh, sucker. I do it every time I go to the gas station now. I forgot what they call it, but y'all know the suckers I'm talking about. Um... Yeah, probably some Tootsie Rolls, some. Oh, we got pig feet, too. The nerve. We was out there eating pig feet, pickle egg, and a hot sausage. Blow pop. Then you put the pickle egg and a hot sausage together and, and, uh, and a thing. Squish that motherfucker up. Get your little cut. Well, we used to bite it, but get your little cut on the, on the side and just ooze it out like you... <laughs> Like you putting icing on the cake, girl. It was a time. Five dollars. Now me and Hunter all go to the store, get a couple of get a get, get a goddamn couple of chips. Have a have a, a few peanuts or something, cause I can't eat all that bullshit now. And that's probably why, cause I was eating all that bullshit then. Thirty seven dollars. Me and Hunter's all by ourselves. Thirty seven dollars. <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl, cause I'm over it. <laughs> Gourmet hypertension. You hear me? <laughs> and I can't even eat it now. Like I. I can I could barely eat this stuff now. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.